what's up welcome back to my channel so right now we are sitting in the parking lot of goodwill and i'm gonna take you guys thrifting with me the purpose of today's video is to find cottage core themed stuff which is like all the rage right now um it kind of blew up during quarantine but it's been around for a few years basically it's like so I realized as I was editing this video that I did an absolute trash job of explaining what the heck cottage core even is, which is like the whole point of this video. So I thought I'd insert this clip of me doing a better job of explaining it sort of. But basically the whole point of cottage core and the reason why it stemmed out of quarantine is because a lot of people reverted back to like a more simpler lifestyle. Like we all know that baking bread was really popular during quarantine, like the whole sourdough starter thing. Um, and so a lot of it comes from like the fantasy of living away from everybody and living in the woods by yourself and like picking your own fruits and vegetables and baking your own breads and baking your own pastries and just things like that that are a little bit more simple. So I hope that kind of helps. And also a lot of the trends are more muted colors, more conservative cuts, um, a lot of like dresses with boots, um, longer lengths ruffles very feminine details and a lot of the household trends revolve around maximalism whereas before it was more like minimalism so like filling every nook and cranny of your house with like knickknacks and things like that so um, i hope i did a better job of explaining it than i did in this vi video <laughs> originally so anyway the aesthetic of living away from civilization kind of and like growing your own herbs and making your own bread and muffins and crafting the things you need and also a big part of it that i really like is sustainable fashion and living sustainably so a lot of cottage core stuff i think could be found secondhand um but i will also acknowledge the fact that there are some problems with cottage core as it glamorizes and idealizes western agriculture and colonization and it kind of makes light of how living that way can be difficult it can be extremely difficult especially during quarantine so i don't want to go without acknowledging the fact that it has its own difficulties but i'm going to be focusing on the fashion and home aesthetics of it because i think it's a beautiful aesthetic i don't know <laughs> i'm trying to pick my words carefully here um i think that i really like the older style the older look so that's kind of what i'm going to be looking for today to resell if you are new here i am a part-time reseller on poshmark and mercari i do it as a side hustle in addition to my eight to five job um if you guys are new here don't forget to subscribe and like this video otherwise we're just gonna get right into it let's go this dress might be a little short but the muted tone goes with the theme you. I definitely think something like this could be considered cottage core. It's a denim long sleeve dress, very prairie like. I'm not gonna get it, but just thought I'd share it. I feel like fruit definitely falls under the theme, but I'm not gonna get that. I think something like this is really beautiful, and I like the neckline. It could look really pretty under like a turtle or under overalls. So a lot of cottage core stuff is this muted color and I love this. I just wish it wasn't the Target brand, so I'm gonna put it back, but this is definitely cottage core. Very cute. That's kind of fun, whatever that is. I think something like this could work with the theme, but pretty cheap too it's only $2.99 or $4.99 never mind I somehow already have a cart full of stuff and I did not mean to buy this much but I think the shirt right there this one could definitely be considered cottage course I'm actually pretty excited it's by a brand called Odd Molly which I had never heard of before so I'm gonna check the comps out this is a strawberry salt shaker and it's so cute I think that counts towards the theme don't need it but oh my god i just turned this corner and found this picnic basket i'm so stoked i was actually looking for one we're getting her okay this though yeah very cute 
I could definitely see this being in somebody's cottage. could hear like any of that because um with the mask it's like really muffled so I feel like I'm being loud and then I go to watch it and I'm like you can't hear anything so anyway I put all of my finds in this cottage core basket so um I'm really excited about this basket by the way I'm gonna show you guys real quick what I got most of it is not cottage core sorry about it um it's just stuff to resell but there is one thing in there that I think could count so the first thing is this waif dress, which is like a Nordstrom brand. It looks like that. It's just a shift dress and it zippers. If I can find stock pictures for any of this stuff, I will definitely insert it so you guys can see it more easily. This one, I guess, is kind of cottagecore because it has like the ruffled neckline. It has a tie on the front. It has the multi-floral print thing going on. So I'm trying to be vigilant because this isn't like the greatest area to be in your car in filming a haul so I'm like looking around but anyway it's from mod cloth and it just looks like that so pretty just a basic floral top I guess this is this could be cottage core if you styled it I think with like a denim flowy skirt oh that'd be so cute and then I got the same top with like a popsicle print from mod cloth has the tie in the front and both of those shirts were selling for around 30 was the sold price and then the dress was also 30 for the sold price and then I got, I've never found this before, but it's Odd Molly Unincorporated. It's a size large. I thought this was cottagecore because it has the velvet corset detail and embroidery. And it's like a peasant blouse style. And it just looks like that. And it has like the bell-ish sleeves. So I thought that was really, really cute and kind of different. So I'm excited to sell that. It's a little damaged, but that's okay. This one is more of a summer 2020 trends find. I'm guessing somebody bought this for a dance and unfortunately had nothing to do with it, but it's this like really beautiful backless dress and it's a Revolve brand. I'll tell you guys what it's called. It's called Flynn and I'm guessing that triangle is supposed to be an ampersand Flynn and Sky. It just looks like that. It's a really beautiful pink color. And that's all I got. That was $30, which is so much money, you guys. I could have bought like 10 times as much as that at the bins, but, you know, I wanted to go thrifting. What can I say? I didn't really want to go to the bins. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.